morning. I'll try to uh, guide you through LibreOffice Online, some new features, and uh, well, it's inevitable that I will hit some other nice things that are in the application, maybe for a bit longer already. But I'll try my best. Is it necessary that I take a mic or is everything? No, fine? you have a you have a good voice. Uh, usually, I I'm quite loud. So um, let's see if this all goes fine with how I intended to do it. But at first, I, I want to show some things that are uh, in, uh, nicely done in the user interface. We have things as uh, the sidebar that's now there. Uh, dialogues are improving. Um, and uh, some improvements have been done on the menu. Yes, this all works as I intended, so that's great. Um, let's, for example, just take a, a file. As you see, I, I'm, I'm doing all, all stuff online, both presentation and, uh, of course, showing how it works. That's all done online. Yes, although the resolution it, it's a bit other than usual, it, it looks reasonable to work with. So, um, uh, and, and as you see on, on the left, we have uh, the sidebar as, as we know it from uh, from the desktop application, it, it's now functioning uh, in in online, and it it changes when there's different object. And it also has similar, um, for example, uh, as you know, as you may know from the desktop version, there's the extra widget top right that opens a dialog for more detailed setting it's all just there and the only thing in this situation is that with my resolution I don't see the buttons that should set OK but it's all nicely functioning the same with uh, Etc. So that, that, that's a nice improvement allowing users to uh, interact directly uh, without leaving the view of their work, etc. And um, uh, as, as, as you know, uh, in, in press and in, in calc and in writer, uh, the sidebar has, has different content and also sometimes different behavior. Uh, another thing that, that has been improved in, in general, if you already saw one, uh, is, uh, is the availability of the columns. For example, should I change to an English user interface for you, or do you believe me if I say I'm going to format page? <laughs> of course, this is in Nextcloud and also in OwnCloud, and, and uh, in, in both you can choose the, the language of your user interface in, in your user settings and then that works. Uh, for example, uh, you can think, uh, do things as, as uh, add a footer and you can choose... Uh, uh, sorry, I, I suffer from the... Uh, from missing the controls, but, but as, as you see, it, 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 has, uh, it has nicely all stuff that you ac accept to be available. Not, it looks as if this sub dialogue doesn't show up. You can choose colors. No. Yep. Okay. No. Okay. But the dialects are there, which is great. Um, it, it's nice. There are large buttons you can hit, and there's a large menu. But 
and there's the nice blue bar from the, uh, the, 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 the file storage and sharing system, of course. When I do like this, I gain some room with hiding the menu. On the other side, the menu has been improved, for example, by showing you information uh, not only on the name of the file, but also you know, when it has been uh, updated for the last. So I think this is pretty useful information. So these are a bit of the general things that have been improved recently. my test version of the format watermark dialog doesn't like to be touched. As you know, it's, it's all work in progress and not every server that I, I, I tend to work on uh, is Not always happy, but this works. You see, we did format, watermark, now it's stable and yes, but this doesn't seem happy if I change the color. Okay. Show me the water. So that's about the watermark. Let me take another file. There is some stuff in the header, as you see. And You can choose insert chart and it, it's easy to edit that to change. Either the server or probably the internet connection is uh, reconsidering what I want to do. interesting really fresh feature um, there is some I've just inserted some table as you notice and 
But once the cursor is in the table, we see that it's the interface has handle, and the handles they allow you to neatly change the properties of the table in this way. It's something you can do on, on the desktop just by rubbing the borders with the mouse. Uh, and in, in the online version, uh, we improved this, or anyway, the developers improved this by adding those handles. That's one of the coolest new features as well. Yes, and then of course, um, we have notes, and we have notes on notes. That's about when people cooperate. And to show that to you, I jump to another instance. This is just a uh, combination with uh, own cloud, and if I'm not wrongly informed, we have three users there. One is me, one is uh, Sayana, and one is Ronello. Rhinaldo, and uh, this is a document that Sarah has created, and I think she shared it with Rhinaldo. Let's see what Rhinaldo is going to see. Yes, it looks like it's the same, and this guy is online too. And you see the nice table handles, uh, sorry, image handles. That allow to rotate stuff and all people see it, which is cool. And this guy. This is a perfect demo because I can carefully explain to you 
what is expected, but in this day well, it doesn't work. Uh, luckily, uh, the more stable versions that my customers work with just allow you to type in this, uh, but they are not on a, on a sort of uh, staging version. Uh, <coughs> and, well, you see, uh, you can answer this comment and if this guy enters it too, So if you start to edit with track changes, you see that your changes are marked and the other users in the document, they get the same information. It's always fun when you have a huge wide screen available. And they can say, oh, I, I like this comment, but please don't have this. So, while you are working, cooperating in the same file, it's easily to give comments, and at the same time, while you work on some others, your, your mates that edit the same file can handle them. So, these are some of the things that are meeting right up. Yes, then, interesting, uh, Michael gave a presentation on it yesterday, is the whole copy and paste stuff. Uh, when you have rich content and you want to move it from one file to another, uh, and there are some nice improvements to be shared with you. Um, let's see what I have here. This is more on the condition of formatting. Uh, for example, this is some files of text. And here's another file that I may want to add that text in. So let me create a new page there. And I mark this, and now the good thing is that you have to use Ctrl C to start uh, copying, and I already did this once uh, yesterday, and I didn't restart my browser. Um, or it did. Well, anyway, it, it, the first time you do it, you get a pop-up, pop -up, and the pop-up warns you, okay, uh, mind that you have, um, uh, you are starting to copy, and that it interacts with your system clipboard, etc., and that you have uh, to use that, and that has to do with security stuff and browsers entering stuff on your computer, etc. But once you have agreed on that, that you have that information, or you know it anyway, it shows here the start download link, and then once it is downloaded, you have also to confirm that it has been copied to the clipboard, and then when you go to another file, and you do the paste, also with the keyboard, you see that both text and images are nicely transferred to the new document.
Five, five more minutes, go. Just so yes. you know. Yes. Uh, and, and now we move into Calc, and you see, uh, for example, there's some nice new handles over there to increase the selection, to do stuff with that. And also with Calc, you have the copy paste of the rich content. Uh, you can also copy stuff from an online document and paste it in a local document. Okay, in Cal we have chart features, group filters, conditional formatting, data validation. Um, for the conditional formatting, maybe it's good to show this. Um, conditional. We have conditions, we have color scales, we have icon sets, data bar, manage, etc. You, you see there's a, a huge uh, amount of possibilities added for the conditional formatting. We have some group filters, I can show that. Interesting. Context menu, you can choose any features, but all the features that you know from the desktop. So, to change the type of diagram or to work on the titles and, and the agenda, etc., of the chart. So, uh, it, it's basically uh, an impress. Also, we have the shape editing and the presentation transitions. Uh, it, it's basically it's too much to show all in uh, half an hour. But anyway, I, I tried, and uh, I hope you uh, 
you appreciate it.